Good morning. It's uh, just after seven and uh, still pretty dim. Uh, and as I'm sure you can hear, we are experiencing a little rain this morning. Not much, just a little pitter patter. Uh, started about four. And uh, it's, it's picked up a little just lately. So that will make our life uh, a little more challenging as we pack up this morning. Uh, I think there's a good chance we'll we'll change our plans slightly and uh, make for a shorter day today and a longer day tomorrow. Uh, and if we do that, then we can spend the night near a shelter which would be convenient in the rain. Although my wife said uh, the forecast calls for uh, rain more this morning than this afternoon. But even so. All right, we need to go get the food bag uh, and uh, think about breakfast. So this is the end of our Bush Buddy only no alcohol permitted uh, adventure. Uh, <laughs> obviously, the weather is not conducive to uh, using the bush buddy. So, even though it's not raining very hard, it's raining hard enough that we've accumulated some water along the drip edge. And some of that is running back towards us. I don't know if you can see. So, well, we'd prefer run the other way but uh, the temperature by the way is uh, about 56 so not too bad uh, well that water we're heating up for tea and once the pot's free uh, we'll put some granola in there and uh, proceed to have breakfast So it is about 10 minutes of 9, so today almost two hours to get packed up, which, considering conditions, I'm not going to beat myself up over. Uh, we should look at the map. All right, very quickly here, because I don't want the map to get rained on too much. We're uh, along here, the camp access road. We're going to go down Allender Mountain Trail to the main headquarters. Uh, for the Mount Washington State Forest. And then we're going to hike up uh, this road, whatever it is, and then up this road to uh, the Gilder Pond area where we'll pick up the HT. And we might head down here to Hemlock and Glenbrook uh, shelter area, uh, depending on conditions. The original plan was to go south on the AT. Uh, well, it's off the map. Uh, down, back down to uh, maybe Sages Ravine, or there's another new campsite I forget the name of, Laurel Brook, maybe uh, that's down near there. So that's where we're headed. And uh, I don't recall. I don't think we've we've hiked a, a day in the rain before. So we'll get to test and see uh, the waterproofness of the camera and uh, the iPhone case, the life-proof case for the iPhone that is supposed to be protecting it. Off we go. It's about 10 of 10 and we've reached the road. So uh, behind me is the driveway for the headquarters of the 
Mount Washington State Forest. And, uh, and I just walked a little bit up this way uh, and come to the intersections of West Street with East Street and, whoops, up there. And I know I want to be on East Street, so I'm on the right path. Uh, so we're going to take a minute and stash the hiking poles and then be on our way. Uh, we're not just having showers. It is, it is raining out here. This qualifies as a, as a hike in the rain. And uh, Kim sent me a message saying that uh, as opposed to the early forecast which said rain in the morning and a few showers in the afternoon, uh, now it's saying rain in the afternoon as well. So the, the plan to, to uh, go to the two shelters that are near Gilder Pond uh, is, is operative and it's been approved by the wife. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. It is 10 minutes of 11 and we have reached the end of Gilder Pond Road uh, so there was no trick finding my way here uh, to the Appalachian Trail and Appalachian Trail South is that way and according to the original plan uh, we would have taken that uh, but we're gonna skedaddle a bit north uh, to the Hemlock and Glenbrook shelter area and uh, hopefully find a nice place to uh, hole up there. So it is about 20 after 11 and we are here at the Glenbrook shelter. Uh, I will, I've been here once before, a very long time ago. Uh, it says it was built in 1986. It's, it's, it's an odd shelter. First of all, it's very close to the, to the other shelter, uh, the Hemlock shelter, which, which is a, a more standard design and it's, it's small. It's well off the trail, uh, and I'll take some more pictures. Um, I didn't think coming down because I was so busy looking for the shelter, but it was hard to find because uh, apparently they've had some kind of major blowdown uh, in the area. And there are just trees down, big trees down everywhere. Hemlocks, for the most part, it seems. Um, so anyway, first order of business is uh, to get some water, uh, and then probably to get dry and we'll think about what happens after that. It's about 12.30 now, and, uh, well, I changed plans again. It's a change plan from a change plan. I had kind of Originally thought I'd take advantage of the shelter uh, to keep me dry and uh, hope to set up the hammock nearby and maybe go back and forth and cook in the shelter. And But then I realized I really wasn't going to work and it, and it stopped raining. For the most part, it's obviously still dripping quite a lot off the trees. Uh, but I decided I'd be better off just, just finding the best hammock spot I could and setting up and uh, well and changing into dry clothes and uh, got some water and I make heating up water for some uh, cocoa so we're trying to stave off uh, numb finger syndrome they're just a little bit numb at the moment um, and so hopefully the cocoa will will help with that and that's the plan for now um,
There has been some brightening in the sky a little bit, uh, but whether that's a trend or not, I'm not really sure. My wife said the forecast is for more rain this afternoon, so we'll assume that's going to be what we'll see, and we'll try to stay under the tarp as much as possible. So I'm lounging here uh, between my quilts, uh, warming up. Yeah, my hands are they're quite normal. Yeah. Um, but my feet are still a little cold. And, well, I have time on my hands. So, uh, we're uh, heating up some water for some tea. Uh, so, I think I've shown this before, but what we have is uh, a Mini Bowl Designs M7 stove. I don't think that stove gets the credit it deserves uh, because it's too simple and it's too cheap. It's just a uh, little container with some carbon felt in it, has a cover, and uh, Tenny doesn't make the uh, container, I'm sure, buys them in bulk, stuffs them with the carbon felt, sells them for five dollars a piece. Um, I mean, that's a hell of a bargain. Anyway, I won't go on about that. So I put the M7 inside the... Uh, what is that thing? A bush buddy. And when I'm in this configuration, I don't have a windscreen. So if it's going to be too windy to use the bush buddy without a windscreen, then the bush buddy becomes the windscreen uh, for the alcohol stove. And, uh, and I wouldn't use the bush buddy underneath the... Uh, tarp or near the hammock in any event so uh, we're in alcohol stove mode here and I've got my Nalgene 16 ounce Nalgene bottle uh, it's got a packet of uh, sugar and a tea bag in there just waiting for the water to boil it's about 315 uh, the weather has been deteriorating not improving it's definitely raining again out there at the moment um, we've been lying here in the hammock, uh, reading, but we're getting kind of bored and still a little cool. Uh, so, try and warm up and have something to do, we're going to make dinner. So, I've been saving the best for last, uh, which, uh, which is beef stroganoff. Again, this is a homemade, uh, Dehydrated, dehyd oh, excuse me, dehydrated meal based on Babblefish 5's recipe. Ingredients are ground beef, onions, garlic, mushrooms, peas, egg noodles, sour cream powder. Nothing wrong with any of that. So we're going to put it in a bowl and cover it with some water and put it on the heat. After which we will rehydrate for 20 minutes. While we're waiting for dinner to come to a boil, um, I thought I'd report do a little electronic gear report uh, and say that uh, my camera, um, sold as a waterproof camera, uh, came through the day uh, just fine and it certainly got wet. My iPhone in a life-proof case uh, certainly got wet and came through the day just fine. The Delorme InReach SE sold as waterproof, came through the day just fine, and my Kindle, which was down inside my pack inside the uh, trash compactor bag, uh, and then inside, uh, just for good measure, a dry sack, uh, also made it through the day without any problem. All expected, but good report, good news sometimes. And there it is. Smells good, tastes good. Another success. Well, I'm done eating, and I've uh, packed up all the food-related items, and we need to take the earth sack down to the bear box. Now, I've been wearing some uh, fleece socks on my feet to try to keep them warm, and so I want to keep these dry. 
and yet we have to walk down to the bear box and well so I don't want to walk down uh, in those boxes without shoes they'll get wet and dirty and I don't want to put those socks in my shoes because the shoes are obviously wet um, so we take the socks off and just shove our tootsies directly into the shoes and we'll wander down and when we get back and take the shoes off my feet will be a little damp but everything will be drier than it would be otherwise well I doubt anything else eventful will happen for the rest of this evening uh, I was getting a little breeze, and I'm still not really what I would call toasty, so I uh, dropped the tarp down a little lower and took it out of porch mode. Uh, and it's, as you can hear, it's kind of raining again. So we'll hope this blows over by morning. Either way, it's um, out to the car tomorrow so we'll warm up when we get there oh we didn't bring warm dry clothes just just occurred to me that's something we had been doing uh, oh well no hike is ever perfect all right good night see you in the morning